This is the legendary Blue Hole, located near the coastal town of Dahab on the mesmerizing Red Sea coast of the Sinai Peninsula in Egypt. Widely regarded as one of the most dangerous diving sites on our planet, the Blue Hole has claimed the lives of over 130 divers since records have been kept, earning it the nickname, Divers Cemetery. In this video, we will embark on a journey to unravel the haunting mysteries surrounding the Blue Hole and delve into the tragic tale of Yuri Lipsky, a young Russian-Israeli diving instructor. What sets Yuri's story apart is the chilling fact that he inadvertently recorded his own death, capturing a series of harrowing moments that continue to send shivers down the spines of those who witness his final descent. But before we begin, Please be aware that this video contains graphics and disturbing details related to the tragic event, and viewer discretion is advised. Measuring approximately 984 feet in diameter and plunging to depths of around 426 feet, the Blue Hole stands as one of the most renowned diving sites on our planet. Its sheer vertical walls, vibrant blue waters, and intriguing underwater formations create a captivating environment that beckons divers to explore it. However, beneath the serene surface and intriguing surroundings lie hidden dangers. With depths exceeding 407 feet in certain areas, divers must confront the immense pressure, darkness, and potential dangers that await them. One notable danger associated with the Blue Hole is the potential for nitrogen narcosis, also known as rapture of the deep. Nitrogen narcosis is a physiological condition that affects divers at significant depths, where the increased pressure causes nitrogen to dissolve in their bloodstream. This condition can lead to a range of symptoms, including impaired judgment, confusion, euphoria, and even hallucinations. Another danger inherent in the Blue Hole is the potential for rapid and extreme changes in water temperature. The surface water may be warm and inviting, but as divers descend into the depths, they encounter a phenomenon called the thermocline. The thermocline is a distinct layer in the water column where the temperature drops suddenly and significantly. This rapid change can be disorienting and can lead to thermal stress, hypothermia, and even loss of consciousness if divers are not adequately prepared and equipped. Furthermore, the Blue Hole's unique topography poses challenges for divers. Its dark, vertical walls create an enclosed environment that can disorient even the most experienced divers. Without proper training and preparation, divers can easily become disoriented or lose their sense of direction, increasing the risk of accidents and getting trapped within the underwater cave system. The Blue Hole is also notorious for its strong and unpredictable currents. These currents can be powerful, pulling divers in unexpected directions, making it difficult to maintain control and stay in a safe position. The intricate network of caves and narrow passages within the Blue Hole has disoriented even the most experienced divers, resulting in fatal consequences. On April 28, 2000, a passionate diving instructor named Yuri Lipsky embarked on a fateful journey to the Blue Hole. Equipped with his trusty camera, Yuri descended into the depths of the Blue Hole, his excitement palpable as he prepared to document the wonders that lay beneath. The camera became his faithful companion, a silent witness to the unfolding narrative of his dive. With every stroke, he propelled himself deeper into the heart of the abyss, the ambient light fading gradually as he ventured further away from the surface. As Yuri descended further into the abyss, the beauty of the Blue Hole merged with its perilous reputation. Yuri, no stranger to the depths, was drawn to this dangerous sight, unaware of the somber fate that awaited him. At approximately 377 feet below the surface, Yuri found himself in an alien world where extreme conditions prevailed. The immense pressure exerted by the depths tested the limits of human endurance. Darkness enveloped his surroundings, adding an eerie sense of isolation and vulnerability to his already perilous situation. 
The video footage captured the unfolding tragedy with chilling precision. Yuri's descent, once controlled and purposeful, transformed into an involuntary plunge into the depths. Panic and desperation gripped him as he fought against the relentless forces of the ocean. Gradually, the visuals fade into darkness, while the audio captures Yuri's struggle to breathe. Nitrogen narcosis began to influence Yuri's cognitive abilities. This condition, caused by increased nitrogen levels in the bloodstream, can affect even the most experienced divers. Around the five-minute mark, Yuri's cries for help become increasingly desperate, accompanied by beeping sounds that serve as a grim warning. Yuri's breaths grow shallower and more frequent, indicative of his deteriorating condition. In the footage, Yuri can be heard grappling with his equipment, likely attempting to release the weights that anchor him down and propel himself towards the surface. The camera captures the ocean floor, stirred by Yuri's frantic movements in a desperate fight for survival. In a moment of desperation, Yuri reached for his regulator, the crucial apparatus that supplied him with the precious oxygen necessary for survival in the underwater realm. In an inexplicable act, he removed the very source of his sustenance, disconnecting himself from the lifeline that had kept him alive thus far. It was a decision that defied all rational thought and plunged him into a perilous state of breathlessness. The camera lens captured his final moments, revealing a profound tragedy unfolding in real time. As Yuri's oxygen supply dwindled, the struggle for survival intensified, though the outcome had become all but inevitable. In the events leading up to Yuri Lipsky's tragic accident at the Blue Hole, several details emerge, shedding light on the circumstances that ultimately resulted in his untimely demise. Local diving instructors and guides in Tehab, where Yuri arrived for a vacation from Russia, recounted encounters with him and shared their insights. They noticed two critical omissions, he lacked a diving buddy and a second oxygen tank. Witnesses recall Yuri wandering around Dehab for approximately 30 to 40 minutes, seeking an experienced diver to accompany him on his dive. Eventually, he found a guide who agreed to go with him. However, only 15 to 20 minutes into the dive, Yuri's companion returned alone, leaving Yuri to continue the descent on his own. It's important to note that many visitors, regardless of their experience or certifications, express an eagerness to dive the blue hole without fully appreciating the potential risks. Yuri appeared to fall into this category, displaying recklessness and overestimating his own diving capabilities. Yuri's own father had even cautioned him against engaging in foolish behavior, indicating awareness of his tendency to take unnecessary risks. Despite this warning, Yuri carried a staggering amount of gear with him, reportedly weighing around 80 kilograms or 176 pounds, showing his determination to explore the unique underwater world of the Blue Hole. The following day, Yuri's father arrived in Dehab, desperate to recover his son's body. The recovery operation posed significant risks, as no one knew how far Yuri had ventured alone or whether it would be safe to swim with his body back to the surface. Two days after his death, Yuri Lipsky's lifeless body was recovered, marking the heartbreaking conclusion to his ill-fated dive in the depths of the Blue Hole. The exact cause of Yuri Lipsky's death has been a subject of debate among the diving community. While drowning may seem like an obvious explanation, various theories have emerged regarding the specific factors that led to his demise. Many speculate that the 22-year-old fell victim to oxygen intoxication and nitrogen narcosis, both common causes of death among divers who descend too rapidly and to great depths. Oxygen intoxication occurs when an individual inhales excessive supplemental oxygen, often referred to as oxygen poisoning. This overabundance of oxygen can damage lung tissue and fill the alveoli with fluid, impeding the lung's ability to effectively transfer oxygen to the bloodstream. 
The resulting suffocation affects the central nervous system and manifests as symptoms such as coughing, dizziness, confusion, and blurred vision. Similar to oxygen intoxication, nitrogen narcosis induces a state resembling drunkenness, impacting neuromuscular function, behavior, and consciousness. Being intoxicated underwater is unquestionably an unfavorable situation, especially when submerged at significant depths. Regardless of the specific cause, it is clear that Yuri Lipsky lost control of the situation. While he could have inflated his buoyancy control device to ascend to the surface, his compromised mental state might have made this action difficult. Another theory proposes that Yuri Lipsky may have attempted a bounce dive. This maneuver involves diving to depths shallower than 21 meters with minimal surface intervals between consecutive dives. However, this technique carries the risk of decompression sickness which occurs during ascent due to rapid pressure changes. Despite various theories and factors involved, Yuri Lipsky's death was primarily caused by a combination of overconfidence and recklessness. He was driven by excitement to explore the depths of the blue hole, which led him to descend too rapidly and venture too far alone. The tragic accident involving Yuri Lipsky serves as a harrowing reminder of the dangers associated with deep sea diving and several key lessons are to be learned from this incident. Firstly, it is important to recognize that while the Blue Hole is a fascinating destination, the allure should not overshadow the inherent risks it presents. Divers must not underestimate the dangers that can be encountered at great depths, such as nitrogen narcosis, which can impair judgment and lead to fatal accidents. Secondly, Yuri's ill-fated dive highlights the critical importance of proper preparation and adherence to safety protocols. Divers should exercise caution, especially when diving alone and without a second oxygen tank. It is essential to avoid venturing too far and too deep without the necessary safety measures in place to mitigate risks. Lastly, the incident underscores the grave consequences of overconfidence and recklessness. Yuri's tragic demise was, in part, a result of overestimating his abilities and a lack of caution. Divers must approach their dives with humility, respecting the challenges and potential dangers of the deep sea. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell to stay updated with our future videos. Stay safe, and until next time.